Well, I just noticed that's an ice cream banana plant. We got a bloom coming out of it. All right, we are pulling back the covers. We picked up all the bricks. So we're seeing how well this is because we are going to start planting in here. I think it did pretty good. What do you think, honey? Oh, yeah. Looks really good. And then here was the original walkway. This will stay. Here's a little black racer we found under the tarp. Black racers are super fast, but they're awesome to have. They get lizards and frogs and everything. Okay, wanted to show you guys. We peeled that part back. We're gonna be peeling that more back because we're gonna be planting more later, but for right now, we're just trying to do what we can as quickly. Um, I went ahead and I transplanted all of the leftover cranberry hibiscus and I'm gonna let them grow for a few months and then go ahead and prune them back and start a new batch. In these tires here, this row, we have what's called the red sorrel hybrid. It was seeds that were given to me. I can't remember by who because it was a couple years ago. So I'm gonna see how they germinate because I am trying to get rid of all the old seeds. And then in between where the tires are touching these little diamond shapes, I went ahead and I planted more cotton seeds. These two rows are completely red sorrel. And then again, in between the little red, uh, the little tire diamonds, I planted some cotton just to see if cotton will grow. And then I noticed that a lot of my loquats went missing. Hmm wonder why so I was able to get some before the birds <laughs> so how do you de-thaw your deep freezer <laughs> you stick it out the sliding glass door so it'll drain you don't have to clean up the mess all right so we have it angled so that way the water will just run out and out to the outside but as you can tell it got a little thick <laughs> oh, we got the greenhouse partly open, huh, honey? Yeah. So he's uh, trimming the sour sap. We got some weeds to clean up here that the tarp didn't do very well. <laughs> um, but we're trimming down the mangoes. They're starting to get burnt on top. So we're definitely trimming these guys all the way down as far as we can get them right now. But as you can tell, there's new growth. This is all new growth and it'll eventually turn green. And everything in here looks really, really good for the survival of the season. But as you can tell, it, even though uh, we did have some cold weather, everything on the top got burnt pretty good, so. Yeah, I need to trim them down. And there's all the new starts. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, get this taken care of and check this out, guys. In less than three days. I know that. The uh, these are the hybrid cranberry hibiscus. And then here, the experiment, this is mainly sand. So the ones that actually have mulch and sand mixed, I mean, look at that. Wood chips and, yeah. Yeah, mulch and what, you whatever it is. Too many in each one, well, they are old seeds. I didn't know, you yeah. know? I mean, these seeds were almost five years old. But for them to germinate like this, that's insane. Yeah, we didn't think there was going to be much germination. There yeah. Germination, right? The germination, yeah, we thought. But you know what? That's okay because we can take the ones out of here and transplant them into the ones that don't have anything. Yeah. So we got room. And then um, later on, we're going to be peeling this back too because um, we are going to plant, what is it? The Mennonite Sogrum. Yeah. Um, baby corn and something else. Oh, kale. 
Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this all done. All right. We are uh, making little mounds for the seeds and for us to walk. I say, what, one more mound? So we don't I'll have to. I just two more. Well, because two for the sorghum and two for the baby corn. Yeah, but we also got kale. Well, that's going to come out this way. So should we move these tarps first before you? Let's get these done first. Okay. And then we'll move those tarps. Yep. Yeah, we got to let them dry out a little bit. We might be able to place one of these small ones on the gate, you know. Did you find a potato? I found a bunch of them. You found a sweet potato? Let the, let the uh, ditch grow them. Yeah. I say put them along the fence line because it, uh, they'll they'll no, suppress those weeds. We already got them in the fence line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I say any of the ones that grow from the fence line in here, mm -hmm. we cut the vines, pull it back, and just cut the leaves off. And, uh, oh, and remember we got the bag of sweet potato. Uh, there's a little bag and we put in the, transferred over to the little freezer, a little bag of frozen sweet potato greens. That we okay. wanted to see if they were, if they froze good. Oh, okay. We could try them tonight with the ribs. Yeah, we could try them. Yeah, why not? We'll have to dethaw them. Just to see if they... Uh, Stay, the way, if they sustain the freeze. If we like them once they're frozen. Yeah, definitely. We'll have we to try We know we them. like them. Yeah, we know we like them. But we froze them just to see if we can, uh, as an experiment. You know us, we're always doing experiments around here. <laughs> I think you like it because you like science too much. Yep. <laughs> All right, just an update on the freezer. Um, the fan's been on it for two hours, but as you can tell, it is just dripping, almost practically dethawed, and then it's running into the track here and then running out of the track, so. No water in the house whatsoever. Love it. Okay, so we found something. I'm not sure what. What is that? Maybe it's something we put here. Careful. Careful, honey. Wait. I swear that looks like a culvert. No, maybe it no. is a pod. It looks like, what the crap is a plastic pot doing in the ground? You know, I shouldn't even I shouldn't even ask those questions anymore because of the prior people that used to work or live here. This could have been in the ground for forty years. It, it, yeah. I wonder if somebody tried to grow a tree. <laughs> and they, I don't know why. Why is it so deep in the ground? This is crazy. You want my gloves to pull it up? No, not yet. Okay. You found the bottom? Yeah, that's a okay. Yeah, I'm getting there. Jesus. Why? I don't... I know I shouldn't ask why, but, it, you know, it still kind of baffles me, the stuff we find. I thought finding the tombstones were bad enough. Yeah, that's a pot. <laughs> that's a big pot, too. Hey, we could probably reuse it. <laughs> Look at that. It's really in still good condition. Except for where I put the shovel through it. That's okay. I could, um, we could always start a tree in that. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. Just put it over there with the others. <laughs> What you doing now? Getting ready to plant. Ooh. We're gonna do two rows of sorghum, two things of baby corn. Um, your what is it? The Jacob? Uh, the Jacob's tears? Or no, Job? Job's tears. Job's tears. <laughs> 
and then kale. And then we also got the uh, the swamp milkweed. Okay, we might have to find some place else for that. Well, we got we got those four tires over there that aren't being used. I was thinking about just doing something over here in this area. Well, this area I was going to say for my um. Oh, let me turn it around here. Um, for my moringa. No, no, on the other side. Oh, that's a lot of weeds over there on the other side. Yeah, but I can, I can uh, run it, run it down with the weed eater, and then uh, till it up. Mm, we'll see. And we, or we can put some in the corner right there. Yeah, we could do that too. I mean, it's just milkweed. It's just to help the butterflies. Yep. Get the monarchs. And since we're in the swamp, you know, swamp milkweed. You know, that's bigger. why I was going to do it on the other side where it's a little wetter. <laughs> So, all right. Let's um, let's get to planting. So, what's that one? Sorghum. We mainly get one row of this. That's okay. Yeah. How many's in there? I don't know. There's oh, quite a bit. Let's see. Yeah. Here, I'll hold that for you. All right, so we're gonna plant down the first row. Yeah. What does that look like? It looks yes. like we're only getting one row. Oh yeah, that's the baby corn. That's okay. We're go ahead and drop them on down. We ended up getting the first two rows of the Mennonites. Mennonite sorghum, yeah. right? All right, so we have Job or Jobs, Job. Tears, Jobs, Tears. Let's take a look at these. Oh, wow, they're pretty. They're cool looking. Yeah, and you can make jewelry out of them. That's neat. Okay. Alrighty, so. All right, so we got dinosaur kale. Now we're not going to use the whole thing because there's like 300. Ooh, there's a tiny. Yep. All right, so we're going to do that on the next row here. How many inches deep? Or how deep? Um. It just says plant spacing 12 to 18. Oh, one fourth deep. Okay. All right. So now we got the red Russian kale. <laughs> and we're going to do, you said one and a half rows? Yeah. Yeah. So then that way um, we can get it done. Did, oh, you didn't cover up that row. No. No. Okay. Do we have any Ukrainian kale? I'd rather plant that than the I red know. Russian. <laughs> well, we could call it red Ukrainian <laughs> kale. <laughs> Alrighty. Freezer's back in its place. Completely dethawed. And now I can uh, load it up with some more goodies. Yay. <laughs> How many times? Get all the dragonflies. Going through all that stuff your dad gave me. Yeah. Has saved me from having to run to the uh, store. Store to get stuff. <laughs> Look, guys. My jasmine is in full bloom. And it smells so gorgeous. And I cut back this jasmine before it blooms. And it's just gone nuts. And this is just on the front side. So another thing we're gonna fix today is the sliding glass door. Um, the handle is busted and we just kind of screwed it together. So Donald found a handle with all that stuff my dad had 
Mm-hmm. So we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna do that really quick here. Alright, there you got it. Now we can shut it. Oh good grief. I think I need to put some uh WD-40 on the bottom. <laughs> but yep. We still have a small blueberry patch. Most of it's dead, but I already got some blueberries that are turning blue. And this is the muscadine grape vine. And look at all those grapes, flowers. They're, it's just loaded. Definitely gonna get grapes. <laughs>